Hey, what's good everybody? It's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can uh, arrange a beat, specifically in Logic Pro X, but you can use this in any DAW really. Um, nice thing about Logic Pro X is that you can actually indicate you know, which areas you want um, in your arrangement. So you got your intro, your chorus, which is also known as a hook, your verse, a chorus again, going into the bridge, one more time the chorus, and then into the outro. So at 151 BPM, uh, this song will be two minutes and 58 uh, seconds long. So that's a good time, you know, for for a, a song nowadays. I would say three to four minutes, anywhere around there. Uh, so let's get started here. I already created a beat and uh, something really simple for this tutorial. Obviously, I'll give you guys the project file as usual with all my tutorials. And um, yeah, we'll just go really quick, go through the uh, the sounds, and um, then we're gonna work on the arrangement of this beat okay so what I just basically did was um, I layered all the sounds that I'm gonna have in this beat on top of each other okay as I was creating it and then I'm gonna go into uh, the arrangement of things now generally speaking I don't really do it this way I actually just create and then you know go along and and you know extend my beat out uh, as I'm creating it and then this way you know you get a full a full song or full beat uh, but I thought this might be an easier way of understanding uh, arrangement in general. All right. Now, a couple of things I want to mention before uh, we go into these sounds. I have this um, this beat set at 151 BPM. Okay. So you have to think double time here. Um, what I mean by that is uh, if you take 151 and uh, split it right down the middle, what what do you have? It would be 75.5. That would be the speed if this were at uh, a normal rate, okay? But we're working in double time. So with that being said, you have to make sure that, you know, you understand your bars, okay? So for the intro here, I have this at eight bars, okay? If this were half time um, or 75.1 or 75.5, you would have a four bar intro versus a um, nine bar or eight bar intro. Uh, you'd have a eight bar chorus versus a 16 bar chorus. You'd have a 16 bar verse versus a 32 bar verse. So if you're working in double time, just keep in mind you, that you should double your bars up too, just so that the length of the song makes sense. All right, now let's get into these sounds. I started uh, by you know just creating a, a simple piano chord progression. It sounds something like this. layered that up with a flute, just a deep flute underneath. I'll let you hear that. Then for, I added another flute, but I was like, all right, let me just make sure to indicate that this is, this is going to be only used for the hook. So this is a flute that I added on top of everything here that I already created, uh, and it sounds like this. All right, then I worked on the 808, and uh, I have a simple 808 pattern. So at this point, I was thinking to myself, who could I hear on this beat? I'd definitely hear like a Cardi B, maybe a little, little Uzi Vert. Uh, continue working on, uh, working on the kicks here. And I just match those kicks up with the, uh, the 808 in terms of the pattern. Got your clap. First snare. second snare and a third got your hi-hat got your clank sound just a weird noise and lastly let's uh, let's put in a crash really quick here so I'm going to work on the crash. 
All right, so I'll probably put those in between, maybe the, uh, the kick and snare, something like this maybe. Coming in a little slow. Let's see here what that sounds like. Yeah, that works. Okay, and then let's loop it off like that. All right, dope. So now, um, arrangement. All right, we got to start with our intro. So for the intro, what I might want to do is just keep the piano in there. So I'm going to move all these guys aside for a second. All right, I just highlighted them all like this and then moved them with my mouse. Okay. So again, let's uh, let's think intro. So for the intro, we will always want to try and keep it nice and simple. Um, so for this, maybe I'll just have the uh, the piano playing. take out and move these guys over for the verse I don't, I'm not gonna have any drums in the chorus okay so let's do it like this so we got um let's see maybe the 808 can come in later as well as the hook flute so uh, it'll be the intro and then the chorus will start and for this course we'll have the other flute start with the piano Definitely want these in the verse. So now I'm going to um, select these here, bring my playhead position to the beginning of the verse, and I'm going to chop it right here. And this tutorial, I mean, this project file is going to have um, what I forgot to mention in here, this arrangement part at the top, right? Intro, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, and then outro. Um, in order to see this, you have to click on the uh, Show Hide Global Tracks button, which is located right here. And that will, you know, come forward if you uh, if you press that. You can always, uh, you know, make changes to this. You can move things, make them larger or smaller. You could also change what they are. So if this is a, if you want your bridge over here or whatever. Um, so with this uh, project file, what I meant to say was like, you know, you can actually change these things up. So anyway, let's get back to the beat. Um, copy this. So I just hit uh, Command C on my uh, keyboard after highlighting this, like so. Command C, and I'm going to paste that uh, same instance over. So now we have our verse. Now you don't have to leave it like this and have it, you know, do the same thing uh, twice over. Maybe we can, you know, drop uh, the first, yeah, the first four bars out. Let me see if I can do this here. Maybe even just like that. So when the second part of the verse starts, you have a little pause in the drums. All right, that you know gives it somewhat of a effect. Um, now let's see what we can do here. We're going to bring in the chorus again. So I'm going to copy these over. Let's chop it right there. Copy right here, and then we're going to bring the playhead position back here to the chorus position, or the chorus area. All right, so we have our chorus in there again. Now we can think of a bridge. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is just copy this first part of the verse like so. And for you know, if you guys are asking, what is a bridge? A bridge is basically um, with a bridge, we always want to change it up slightly uh, from the verse. That's a, that's the way I do it anyway. Um, you know, you can basically have a different instrument playing the uh, you know the main melody, for example. So if I were to bring in another instance of, say, Omnisphere, 
If you don't have Omnisphere, I'll just you know track this out so that you have uh, the wave area, uh, the wave and MIDI files for it, and you can add your own VST, audio unit, whatever you call it. So uh, for this, maybe what we can do is um, let's bring this down. So for the bridge, I'm going to have this guy uh, playing the same melody. It was a piano before, but we're going to change it into something else. So maybe we can do a Let's take a look here. Let's look at keyboards again. There's tons of stuff in here. Maybe there's something interesting here. Gold Star. I'm just picking random stuff. Really didn't have any uh, any plan to do that. All right. So for the bridge, let's see what that sounds like. It's all right. It's not really what I was looking for. Let's keep going. So maybe to make it less like impulsive we can take away like some of the drums. I just want to make sure. So I'm going to drop an EQ here on that second guy, take, up, uh, take out some of those uh, low end frequencies. Maybe this flute we can bounce into place like so. I just right clicked on that, it's going to bounce it into place. Let's bring the cursor back like so. And um, we could slow this whole guide down. So I already have this uh, bridge area looped off like so, right at the top from 73 to 89. And uh, if this track is selected, let's make sure only this track is selected, like so. And uh, we want to go to Edit, and then Time Stretch, uh, Time Stretch Region Length to Locators, like that. It's going to slow that whole puppy down, and then we're going to have a listen. sounds interesting it's different you know what I mean so it's a little trick to make uh, you know th things sound a little different anyway just not to keep it all the same but have variation in your beat and uh, I'm gonna take that previous chorus paste it again like so now we got to think of the outro maybe for the outro very simply we'll just have um, you know the piano and maybe this other sound playing I want to paste it up here like that can uh, you know automate the the volume of that to have it fade out so if you hit a on your keyboard you can bring up your automation I have a tutorial on automation specifically that you should check out too it's just in my uh, my playlist I'll put a link in the description all right so here we go uh, I'm just gonna place cursors like this so that I can drag these down and have the vo uh, the volume fade out of the, uh, out of those two tracks okay uh, so sound sound something like this see they're automating right all right so you know very simply uh, this is how you could arrange a beat um, this is not the right way to do it in by any means or the wrong way this is just my way of doing it so uh, you know you could you know feel free to perfect this if you want or you know come up with your own ideas and uh, and share them with the community uh, we're up to like 35,000 subscribers it's fucking amazing I have no idea why uh, you know this this happened like this but it's um, 
yeah, it's amazing. So thank you all uh, for staying subscribed and watching my videos. And uh, if you want to hit me up on Instagram, it's CJBeatsNYC. That's at CJBeatsNYC. Same thing on Twitter. And uh, you can also email me if you have questions, etc. It's uh, CJBeats at gmail.com, and I'll do my best to get back to you guys. Anyway, really, really want to thank you again for watching this video. Uh, I appreciate it, and peace out.